Hello and welcome again to another screencast from Express Stats. Uh, today we're going to be looking at a very interesting topic. Uh, it's called um, creating the or uh, how to use the glossary mode in Views 3 in Drupal. Uh, this um, lesson came about as a result of when I was trying to work on uh, creating a glossary for a view page in one of my recent projects. I was kind of shocked, so I was looking for uh, things which I could use. So, what's a glossary mode? For example, if we look at this site, uh, if you look apart from um, the website having a pager, uh, page one, page two, uh, you see you can also search, I think, for companies in this situation uh, using the alphabets. And so, for example, if I click on uh, the letter A, uh, it gives me everything under A. Uh, if I click the letter M, gives me all the companies with the title with M uh, and so how can we create uh, something similar to this in views uh, to start out um, I want to believe to follow this tutorial you already have some knowledge on how to use the views uh, module and so we're going to create a new view add new view uh, we'll call this view glossary uh, let's do it for all types and uh, let's do um, article uh, content here yeah. uh, let's do continue and edit uh, machine readable uh, it's already in use okay let's read to click and continue and edit right uh, here you can change whatever you can set all your filter criteria and so we have a list of articles and so we want to be able to sort them uh, using different alphabets uh, the best way to do this first of all is to add an attachment I click on add attachment and then we go into the advanced uh, go to contextual filters uh, in this case you're going to be using what uh, you want to be uh, the letters here for this situation here I think they used um, the titles of, uh, of, of the different companies and so here we're going to be using the title of our articles and so for example we say title let's search for title content title click on that uh, click on this attachment override apply all right uh, there are many uh, options here uh, but for this tutorial i'm going to be using display a summary uh, sort order ascending descending sort by alphabetical number of records i will use alphabetical that one uh, format list for this tutorial i'll be using unformatted after that uh, make sure you select display in line when you select display in line it should be arranged on a single line else you see it be arranged uh, vertically uh, so it's single line i do not need this uh, override number of items to display uh, in this case it's normally 25 against the number of alphabets when a situation where you have numbers uh, you might want to increase that to something like 37 a separator you can decide to put a dash as a separator depending on what you like so for example you put something like that uh, specify validation criteria i will be using basic validation if i click on more uh, make sure to select glossary mode when you select glossary mode uh, everything should work fine now i'm not going to do anything here i'm just going to apply this and we'll see what happens if i click on apply this display uh, we should find out that it should list all our articles uh, with uh, titles however this is not showing up let's change this to select one let's see what that does apply if we got anything no we haven't if i go back to title and i set change this to one Click on apply right and so now we've got uh, this bit showing up so we've got letters a b c d e f g h i l m p r w make sure to always select just the first letter and so now when we click on letter a it will give us a list of all articles uh, with letter a now once this is completed the next thing we want to do is we want to attach it 
to our page if we go to our page at the moment uh, we we've, we've now got the glossary mode on top so let's attach it to our page so if i click on attach position uh before after yeah cancel and then attach to we're going to be attaching it to our page click on apply and this should now be applied to our page now and so at the top of our page now we should be able to see our glossary mode let's save this uh view and let's check out what it looks like i click on save and let's uh, go to a new page and uh, let's go to our glossary page glossary type enter and now we've got our page with our alphabets so apart from us having the usual pager we can also go to different pages by alphabet so if i click on a it shows me all articles with titles of a if i go back and click on b shows me all titles uh, with b uh, i think this brings us to the end of this tutorial showing us how to apply a simple uh, glossary mode uh, to our uh, views. I'll see you in the next tutorial.